here. It's a good morning, bad movie here. And, uh, I, uh, in honor of the fact that B-Movie Mania, the podcast I'm on, uh, we watched Talking Cat. Uh, so I watched a, uh, a movie that came out the year after called A Talking Pony uh, last night. And, uh, oh boy. Um, there's, if you've seen A Talking Cat, uh, you'll know there's a lot of, like, cutscenes that cut to, like, foliage and, like, nature and stuff. And, oh, there's a lot of that again. So maybe it's, like, David Contu's, uh like, signature. I don't know. I guess I haven't seen many of his other works. Or maybe it's his, like, this is done under the pseudonym of Mary Crawford. So maybe this is, like, what he imagines she would be doing. I don't know. I haven't... But I will tell you, the movie is it's about... Um, family's ranch which is supposed to be out in the middle of nowhere but it's right in fucking town because there's like a, a road um uh like the road that goes right right by this like but not stable what you call it where you, a horse will, will ride a horse around inside i don't know the the pen or something and there's just a road right by it with a lot of cars that drive down it so yeah but uh there's um I don't know. Uh, um, oh yeah, it's supposed to be. A, oh, it's about a family that owns this ranch, but it they uh, they can't afford it for whatever reason. So someone's trying to buy it, and then the kid of the bank. I don't know. It's all. It's so fucking trite. Um, but God. Um. But, uh, oh, yeah, there's, um, there's this thing that they do a lot, and it's pretty amazing, is, like, these scenes, so there's a young woman who's the star of the film, and she's the one that can talk to the horse after, like, a lucky horseshoe that her dead dad left, uh, these movies, no one has, no one is, is, is together anymore, something must have happened to this director where... Someone is always, like, no, everyone's divorced, everyone's fucking, you know, on their own, trying to tough it that way, and I get, that is, that is a, a large part of, of people now, and, and that's a thing, but, like, not one, no one is, like, no one, no one, no two couple is together anymore, so, it's a real sad story for all the budding young couples that are getting together to be, well, I guess, you know, you're not going to stay with this person long, or at least, whatever, Ugh, depressing. But if you think about these movies, they're pretty depressing. Um, but the fun thing that happens in this movie is um, they'll do this montage of the young woman um, and the horse. Like, she's, like, petting it and brushing it and writing it around, and so you think, oh, they're gonna do a quick little, I don't know, 30 second, minute long montage, I didn't time it, um, but they are like three to five minutes long of this, they're just filler, it's just filling time with these things, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous, like, I, I swear to Christ, it's, at one point, and th there's not just one of these, there's, a minimum two, I'm pretty sure there was like three or four of them in it though, but it all kind of bled together because I was falling asleep. It was like 2 a.m. Um, but um, that they're so long, Garrett absolutely promise you. In one of the movies, I think this was in The Talking Cat too. I think this happened in A Talking Cat. Or another, oh no, I'm thinking of The Amazing Bulk. So this movie has something in common with The Amazing Bulk. There's a montage, this horse montage is happening, 
And there's a song, a light, whimsical song playing, you know, some children's rhyme song, instrumental in the background. And then that song ends. And you think, oh, the song's ending. Now we're going to move on with the plot. No, it just starts another song and continues with the montage. Oh, I'm sorry, TC. You okay? I accidentally kicked my cat. I'm sorry, TC. Hey. Did you like a talking movie? No. I only like a talking cat. Oh, really? Wait, stop. What's this thing? It's it's a phone. You know what a phone is, you dummy. Anyway, let me do this. I gotta do this. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, talking pony is not nearly as fun as a talking cat. I can tell you that. Um, I don't know. If you want to watch it, there's probably a link in the comment or the thing or whatever. I don't know. How does YouTube work anymore? I don't remember. It's certainly not monetized anymore. But, uh, yeah. All right, bye. Look at my butt. Oh, God. TC, stop that. It was gross. All right, whatever. Talking Pony was stupid. Um, we're going to have to watch one of the two. Watch a talking cat. If you want to watch them both, I don't fucking... It's America, greatest country in the world. Just fucking do it. I gotta go to work, I guess. I gotta get up and work. Okay, bye. Thanks for listening. So, um... We're watching. Uh, Good Morning Bad Movie. Uh, like and subscribe. Stuff. There's not gonna be anything up here. Hey, let me get in front of the thing again. Well, the... Uh, well, uh, if you haven't checked it out, B Movie Mania is the podcast that I'm talking about. It's it's very fun. We love movies. We don't really like to shit on them too much. Um, sometimes you gotta, but and for the most part, we really love B movies. So check them out, and uh, you know, check that out. Like and subscribe. B Movie Mania dot com and all that kind of garbage. Okay, uh, later. <laughs>